great. So I know there are a lot of scholars that complain about going against reptiles. They are tough, they're not that easy, uh, especially against, especially using an aqua against them since they are direct counters, but they're not impossible at all. As long as you don't blindly use your cards and energy and know when to use your cards, it's winnable. So I'm going to replay a game that I played earlier today. It was against the double reptile team, the plant. Okay, it's okay. So, I'm going to go through the gameplay in um, one time speed so you guys can watch what happens. So here I kill off the opponent's plant but I make sure I'm not wasting too much energy. So I did kind of overspend one energy here. It could have been better done but it was in case the opponent used shield. Okay, so here, although I have four cards on my plant actually. I didn't use any of them because the opponent's reptile has a spike throw. This targets the enemy with the lowest shield and if he did use choose to use all four cards on this Axie, it would have targeted one of my backline aquas. Okay, so here he puts out a lot of damage and kills off my plant. He has quite a bit of energy as well, right? He has 5 now and I have 5. Okay, so here... I knew that this wasn't going to be enough damage, but knowing that... So the opponent here, he has a 468 HP, right? So if I use 4 cards, he still won't die. So here, I try to put some damage in while also keeping my energy level. So I use these 3 cards. So I'm attacking first, I get about 130-ish damage in. Okay, so use some stuns and allergic reactions, killing off my opponents. So you can see this is a this looks like if you were in game, this looks like a very bad situation, right? You don't know what the opponent has, you don't know how much energy he has, if you haven't been counting. It's a 1v2 situation against the reptile. But, you need to remember that you've been saving up a lot of energy. So the opponent only has 2 energy. So here I go full out attack, knowing that it will kill him even if he uses, it, uses all his cards on shields maximum 100 something shield. So this will kill off the opponent. Reptile actually wasting his 2 energy. And that doesn't do anything. Okay, so here I have 4 energy again and I will have 4 cards. The opponent will only have 2 energy again. So, this turn I did choose to attack using all my energy knowing that he either will not do anything or he will put up minimal amount of uh, shield so I get about 300 something damage in alright this is the, the next part is the important part so now I only have 2 energy as well and seeing that he only used one card he must have three energy right and my card draw isn't that good as well so i chose not to do anything this round and save up the four energy if i just used two energy it wouldn't the the damage wouldn't have been enough and i would have died this turn but since i did save up my energy i will successfully go in as damage So, as you saw there, it's not that hard. It's not that hard to go against Reptile as long as you know how to play and manage your cards well. So, uh, just keep practicing and good luck!